Okay guys, welcome to today's video, all about three exercises to help with back pain relief. So very often we have people come in after a day of work, they've been sat down, they've been commuting, essentially far too static. And before we get them into exercise, we just want to start to ease some tension in their sort of lower part of their back, because they feel it gets quite seized up. That might be because they get a little bit tight around the hips, it might be a little bit tight and seized up and towards the spine. But we just want to go, right, how quickly can I get someone to feel better? How quickly can I get someone to move better? So these three exercises are here because we've used them with many clients throughout the years. And they always make people feel a lot, lot better. I just want you to do them in a relaxed environment. You could do them at a gym on a mat, like I'm gonna show you today, but you could just do them in the comfort of your own home, guys. You could just do it, literally just sat down, watching TV, and every exercise is just gonna hit your lower back in some different angles, make it feel a lot, lot better, and just create a bit more mobility, as I said earlier, in towards this spine, in towards these hips, and I know it's gonna either set you up well for a relaxed evening, or set you up very, very well for your workout. So I really hope you enjoy them, and let us know how you get on. Right, so first exercise we're gonna go for, guys, is thinking about opening your spine out at some different angles. And what I wanna get you to do is sit your bum back onto your heels, and start to get some therapeutic movement in towards that lower part of the back. Very often people come and see us, beginning of a the session, they feel a bit stiff, a little bit tight, and sometimes all we need to do is spend three or four minutes just getting them to mobilise a little bit and they feel a lot, lot better. So this is what it's going to look like. To start off, to sit my bum back onto my heels. This is a sort of a nice, a nice uh, start point so I can start to fold forward from here. If this position doesn't feel too comfortable, you've got a couple of options. Sometimes people prefer to go onto their tiptoes at the back and sit back into it. Sometimes they feel they need a bit of support on their knees and they've even got a bit of padding underneath or some padding underneath your thighs. Whenever it feels comfortable for you guys, get a set up where you feel like your breathing can be relaxed and you don't feel too tense. Okay, so we start folding forward. So a big stretch out in front, my neck's gonna relax and I'm start to open out the whole of my spine, putting a lot of focus in towards the lower part of my back. So I'm here, I'm gonna pulse in and out of this. So I'm keeping it nice and relaxed, just getting a nice stretch. Probably going for four, five reps. And then what I'll do, I'll go to some corners. So I'm going to go to my left hand side first of all. Stretching out, and again, just four or five. And as I'm doing that, I can get a nice stretch down my side, into my lats, and just start to get my lower back, just to mobilise some different planes here. And then from there, go to the other corner. Taking my time again, just getting a nice stretch. If, as you go guys, if you need to sort of adjust your knees a little bit, bring them out, bring them in. That's fine, I always encourage everyone to play about the movements and just essentially understand the principle and make it fit for you. I'll show you how to look from the side as well. So I'm here, I'm sitting back, I'm going forward. Again, four or five reps is not more than enough. And once I've done those pulses, I'm going to go to my right hand side now, pulsing out of this side. And again, the other corner now. The whole time, I make sure my breathing is nice and relaxed, not tensing up at all. If you feel uncomfortable at any point, just come out of it and go into it again. Most of the time, we recommend a lot of clients to maybe go for three, four reps a side, more than enough, and this will work very, very well with the exercise I've got coming up next. Okay, so second stretch, we look at something called the Z stretch. And what we're trying to do, first of all, as always, is to keep relaxed. And the reason we're doing that is not only to help the stretch, but also just to sort of put you in a bit of a relaxed environment. We know one of the things that stiffens people's backs up isn't just necessarily a tightness, it's the fact that the whole day, they might have a stressful day at work, uh, loads of environment stresses can cause pain. So straight away, by making that time for yourself to actually relax, not only will it help with the stretch, it will help with the sensation and help ease some tension as well, guys. So, what we're gonna think about is laying on your back, and all that happens, my knees will fold to one side, my arms fold to the opposite side. So I'm just here. And my head at first is going to go the way my hands are. Hold that for a few seconds, and I go through to the other side. Again, I wouldn't get too regimented with it. You can, you can hold it for a couple of seconds, or you can hold it for longer, it just depends how you feel. I'm just going to hold it for sort of three or four seconds a side today, as I'm just demonstrating it to you guys. Then I can mix it up, I could go hands and knees the same side, head the opposite way. That's quite good because it starts to get into the neck now. Again, do the other side. 
So what I encourage you to do guys is the Z stretch is brilliant, it just starts to relax people, starts to mobilise some sort of tight areas in the spine. But I encourage everyone always to play about with movement, never get too fixated with it. Lots of people want one cure and think that's going to fix everything. You've got to look at it holistically, that's why I say stress is important. So I think you'll get on really well with this and next I'm going to show you another stretch to help you out as well guys. Okay, so last stretch, we're looking at a rocking motion. So we're going to be lying on our back and hugging our knees to the chest. Straight away, that hug to the chest is quite therapeutic for a lot of people. A lot of people feel they just need to open out that, that lower back and just get a nice stretch in there. And again, guys, I encourage you to be relaxed and relax your breathing. We find some movement works well for people sometimes at the beginning of their sessions if they come in after a tough day of work. But also, one reason I'm giving it to you guys today is to do Maybe just at home, maybe just at home, just to relax in, in the evening, just to chill out um, and get your body ready for a good night's sleep. So this is what it's, it's gonna look like. I'm gonna lay my back. So the first stage, just, just a hug can feel nice. So that's always the first stage I get a lot of people into. Got a choice of having your head down, or to increase the stretch, your head can come into your knees a little bit. But again, just, just nice and relax there. And then from there, we just get a bit of a rock. And if you want it, you can speed it up, increase the range. But again, this rocking sensation feels really good for a lot of people. And if we are going to have a workout with them, we do find straight away, maybe 20, 30 seconds of that, linked into a few other exercises makes a big difference. So I hope you get on well with this exercise today, guys. Give some feedback, and if there's anything else you want to see, let us know.